Bob, this could kind of be a little confusing. The marijuana issue might actually be on the November ballot twice. So if you're not careful, you may say end up voting to legalize marijuana, but also keep it illegal at the same time. Maria, they have a lot to review, don't they? Yeah, they certainly do, Terry. Now, a police body camera actually allows the police to record a scene. Those cameras are similar to this that I have in my hand. This is a GoPro. Whatever I'm looking at is being recorded, as you see every time I move. But before Columbus police officers are equipped with cameras, a committee is working on the costs, the privacy issues, and when to use them. Now I asked how much they think the cameras will cost and how much to store the video. The director says they hope to have that decision by December. And of course, we'll continue to follow this story. They hope to have some of those cameras in place by next year. In downtown Columbus, I'm Maria Durant, ABC 6 News. Our Adam Arrow was there. He joins us now live with what's at stake. Adam? Well, the city says the park itself definitely needs a facelift because of aging facilities, but those against the idea say the plan simply lacks specifics. We well, a lot of police say a chain reaction crash caused a car to jump the curb here and then hit this bus stop. You can see some workers are now cleaning up what is left of this bus stop here on East Broad Street. Tonight, investigators are still trying to figure out who the woman killed here is. And Bob, as you said earlier, hours after this happens, the after effects remain tonight. Traffic still slow going out here as folks kind of get home and try to get to where they need to be. Again, this after a massive tie up this afternoon at one of the worst times just before six o'clock. I had a chance to speak with some drivers who say this commute turned into one real nightmare.